Good morning and welcome to 5 at 10 this beautiful Wednesday morning. Uh, our weather the last couple of days can't make up its mind if it wants to be summertime, spring, winter. But uh, hey, we live in the UP, so we just relax because it, it will change as long as you're patient. Amen. Listen, I know we've been doing this sheltering thing for a while, and some of you are getting probably a little bit stir-crazy, a little bit antsy, wanting to get out and do some things. And, and I know some of you probably have been doing some things around the house, but I've talked to a lot of people, and I ask them, well, how's it going? What, what's up? You know, and I'm getting this a lot. People are saying, I am so busy. I'm just busy doing all these things. Maybe it's a project. Obviously, you've got, you're trying to get the kids' education done, but you're busy. And, and I understand this. It seems like I'm more busy now than I was before. Now, I don't know about you, but I get so many things going on my mind. I can start doing one thing and then I, I find myself distracted from that and I start doing something else. And then I, I've got another two or three things in my mind and pretty soon I'm standing in the middle of the floor wondering what was it that I was supposed to do? What was I thinking? What was I going to do next? Maybe that's just me. But if that's you, I want you, to, I want you to listen to this. Take a minute, Martha. Take a minute. Now, preacher, what are you talking about? I know sometimes I confuse you, but let me explain. Let me uh, read something to you. It's in Luke 10, verse 38. Now it happened as they went that they entered a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. We're talking about Jesus. And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with so much serving. And she approached Jesus and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you're worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. Now, Martha had a legitimate concern. She was trying to be a good hostess and, and serve the Jesus and the people that came with him. And she was saying, hey, I'm doing all this stuff. And he says, you're distracted. Have you ever sat down in the morning with your cup of coffee or whatever it was and and you decide you're going to spend a minute praying or, or you're going to read a devotional or you're just going to spend a minute meditating and, and lit on, on the Lord or maybe even worshiping the Lord. And then all of a sudden things get going through your mind and you get distracted, you get up to do this and then you're doing that and then pretty soon your coffee's cold and, and you know, you're, uh, you haven't gotten back to what you were going to do. You got distracted. Take a minute, Martha. Take a minute. See, Mary sat at Jesus' feet. And I promise you, if you take a minute, if you sit at Jesus' feet, you're going to be able to get everything else in the day. You're going to get that done anyway. But you'll probably find that you're going to have more peace and more joy in it. If you take a minute, Martha. So I want to encourage you today. We know we're, it's busy. Even if we're sheltered, we live busy lives. But each day, we need to take a minute and sit at Jesus' feet. Whatever that means for you. Is it a devotional? Is it a time of prayer? Is it a time of worship? Is it just a time um, out on the balcony with your cup of coffee, just talking to the Lord? What is it? I encourage you today. Take a minute, Martha. It'll be a blessing to you, and you'll see that your day will go much better. Amen. I pray that this blessed you today. It helped you today. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take a minute. We're praying for you. We're believing in you. Please continue to pray for us. Um, we look forward to seeing you tonight at, for prayer, 6 p.m., and uh, we hope to see you there. Bring your prayers, bring your prayer requests, and bring your, your praise reports, and we're just going to spend some time praying and rejoicing in what God is doing. Amen. Well, God bless you today. We call you blessed. Remember, take a minute, Martha, and we're going to walk in faith, 
over fear. Amen. Have a blessed day.